sometimes less is seriously more. And that's just more true for 3D applications than anything else. Thankfully, in Blender, we can work in a totally immersive environment. Now let's tackle this thing one step at a time. First of all, let's get rid of that gray bar at the top here. There used to be a shortcut key, but in the latest version of Blender, that's been removed. We can still get there by window, toggle full screen. That takes care of one thing. But still, we have lots of little palettes everywhere, and while we can remove them with individual function keys, it would be nice to just press one thing and go full screen with something. Well, thankfully we can do that. Hover over the viewport in question and hit Control and Space, and that'll get you full screen with whatever your mouse is hovering over. Now make sure you hover over the correct viewport, because if I hover over here and press the same thing again, Control Space, then that goes full screen. That's probably not what you want. Often there's a little back to previous button right here, we can click that, or you can just press control and space again. Now even if I do that on the correct viewport, it still leaves me with so many other little palettes here. There's another neat little trick that we can employ to get rid of those as well. So from here, press control, alt and space, and that'll get us into a totally immersive view with no floating palettes at all. Once again, to go back, control, alt, space will get you here. But to retain your sanity and to clear up your desktop a little bit, Control, Alt and Space will get you there. And if you ever need those tool shelves again, you can still press N and T to bring those little things up again. I've only just found out about this quick tip and I thought I'd share it with you. Now go and immerse yourself in Blender's viewport.